Hi, I'm Alex Grieve, better known as IB Crazy, and few things upset me more than coming home with a car full of broken aircraft that I've got to buy equipment to repair. And while I can't teach you how to not break propellers and not break motors, I can show you how to not break video transmitters and antennas. Most people have figured out that when you mount the antenna directly to the video transmitter in a crash, the antenna is usually stronger than the SMA connector on the video transmitter and often pulls the SMA connector straight out of the vehicle. To prevent this, a lot of people have found out to use an extension cable to extend the cable from the video transmitter up to the top plate of the frame and then screw the antenna to the top of the frame. The problem with this is that in a crash there is nothing to protect the antenna and it is the highest point. So when you crash and the aircraft comes in, it tends to tumble over and land on top of the antenna and then shear off the SMA connector right at that solid connection. There are a few ways to prevent this. One way is to simply mount the antenna lower on the frame, such as on this model. This model has a top plate which protects the antenna in the event of a crash. So when this thing crashes, the antenna gets deflected, it has a place to go, and this rigid part down below is protected by that top plate. However, not everybody has that luxury, and some people have to mount it right to the top of the frame like this. So for you guys who find yourselves mounting to the top of the frame, to prevent damage, you can use a device like this, a simple right angle adapter. Simply screw it to the top of the frame and then attach your antenna onto the end. Now you might ask, why would you do that? Well, the right angle adapter is a lot stronger. It's a lot more metal, so it's a lot harder to damage. Also, the straight stock is much shorter. But then you might ask yourself, well, isn't the antenna laying flat? Well, yes, but most antennas are designed to be bent to shape. The way you do that with this race spec is simply heat it up with a lighter such as this, and then fold it up to the proper orientation, let it cool, and it will retain that orientation. Now, even though the antenna is still upright and could be damaged in a crash, the system is now protected. So in the event of a crash, the antenna actually has a place to go where it's being protected by the rest of the frame and that right angle adapter. Another reason to use a right angle adapter is in a very hard crash, the right angle adapter will pop apart as it's just a press fit. Now you might know that powering up a transmitter without a load will damage the transmitter. Well the interesting thing about a right angle adapter is that this part is sticking out. It's no longer inside a coaxial cable and it acts like an antenna and puts a load on the video transmitter and it will keep it from frying. But then you might ask, uh, well what do I do with the right angle adapter? Well the amazing thing is, is they can actually be put back together fairly easily. You can simply press them back together and clamp them in a vise, but another thing that I like to do just for added protection is solder them together. And if you want to know the easy way to repair a right angle adapter, I left a link in the video description below showing you how to repair an SMA adapter without touching a soldering iron. So, I might be crazy, keep them in one piece, and as always, keep them flying.